Hello, Colts Nation. What's up, No Horse and Family? Welcome back to another episode of the No Horsing Around Podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Burden, and it's been a little while. Me and Zach have a couple of different things going on. You guys know he's been on vacation. We've both been dealing with a little bit of personal stuff, but wanted to make sure we kept getting some videos out there to you guys as we kind of creep towards... I guess kind of the overall end of free agency creep towards the draft, but we still got some people out there. We still got some people. I want to know what you guys think. So before we get into this, as always, you guys, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. I want to hear what you guys have to think. I want to hear what you guys have to say on the topic that we're going to cover today. So the topic today, it's kind of a fun one. I think should the Colts sign OBJ? For those who don't know, which would shock me if you don't, OBJ is Odell Beckham Jr. of the Giants, of the Browns, and most recently of the world champion L.A. Rams. What do we think? Right now, we're looking at a wide receiver room for the Colts that consists of what? Michael Pittman Jr., Paris Campbell, who you guys know I love, but he can't really stay healthy. Michael Strawn, who we know we were really excited about last year, didn't take a single snap this year. But what does that look like for this upcoming year in 2022? You've also got Desmond Patman. You're banking on a lot of young wideouts. Because the other part, too, is we know from what we have heard, we believe that the Colts have an offer out there for Jarvis Landry, but he's debating whether to take it. So you have that, and then you have a lot of really talented young wide receivers in the draft this season, but you're going to bank a lot on them. So you do need some sort of veteran presence in that locker room. Is it a T.Y. Hilton? We've talked about that. Is it a Julio? We've talked about that. Let's float out OBJ, you guys. Let's talk about OBJ. OBJ, uber talented wide receiver, an amazing talent. I mean, you're talking to start his career with the Rams, or not with the Rams, I'm sorry, with the Giants. Three straight 1,300-yard-plus seasons and 10-plus 10 touch, 10 touchdowns each one of those seasons. Then he got hurt. Then he had another 1,000-yard season. Then he went to Cleveland and had another 1,000-yard season. <laughs> and then last year was kind of this weird debacle. You know, in 2020, he didn't have a great season with the, with the Browns. Then he went to the Rams, kind of resurgent. I mean, God, I mean, what, five touchdowns? In only seven games, I mean, it was an, it was kind of this resurgent. But we also know he was on the tail end of his contract. He's been a little bit more injury prone. Remember that he broke his leg when he was with the Giants. He tore one of his ACLs and one of his knees with the Cleveland Browns. He tore the other one in the Super Bowl. That's the catch, you guys, in the Super Bowl with the Rams, which he had a touchdown, and he looked like he was probably going to have 100 yards, have a great game. He tore his other ACL. So what do we think? This the, That's the talent on the field. He's a very talented player. He's a little injury prone lately. There's no way he starts the season. He's, he's kind of a get him back maybe in November for a playoff push. Uh, December, kind of down the stretch, going into the playoffs. I don't think he'll be ready. I know it's an ACL. Hit me in the comments if you guys have a better idea of the time frame. But you're talking, he tore it at the last possible moment, really. You know, he tore it in the Super Bowl, the last game of the season, and he's out. So he's rehabbing, and some people might be waiting around seeing what does that look like? How's his rehab going? Uh, how's he progressing? And the Colts could be one of those teams. We know he loves the big market. He was in Cleveland, but he was in Cleveland because of Jarvis. He didn't really like Baker. Uh, but that's another fun thing. When the Colts make the trade for Matt Ryan, who tweets out about it? OBJ. Big eyeballs looking for Matt Ryan to do big things in Indianapolis. We got the proven quarterback. Could he come here and have a good season? Absolutely. He could. He could come here. The question would be, would it be a one-year deal, two-year deal, three-year deal? Because he's not going to play much this year, so it's got to be more than a one-year deal. And then there's the big overarching question that everybody would have in regards to OBJ. He's the epitome of what a diva receiver has become. Now, he kept it together really well in Cleveland. 
it wasn't him that released the video. It was his dad. <laughs> you know, he never really complained publicly. He did a lot of that kind of early on in his career with the Giants, a lot of proposing to the net and crying and the Josh Norman stuff where he went head to head with him and kind of got suspended, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, kind of straightened up a little bit lately. Loved being in L.A., I believe. I really think he loves being in L.A. I think he loves being loved by them. Uh, I was listening this afternoon and they were talking about him. And one of the things they talked about is, he wants to be loved. He wants to be shown the love. Not necessarily the money, but the love. Hey, we want you. And I don't know if Ballard's that guy, but could he have a great impact on this? Yeah, I mean, you line him up. I mean, th think about the lineup of potentially, let's say without the injuries. Michael Pittman Jr. on the outside, OBJ on the outside, Paris Campbell in the slot, Naheem Hines coming out of the backfield to make receptions, Mo Alley-Cox. And then let's also let's throw out there. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna draft receiver Chris Watson, George Pickens, someone along those lines. Whoo! Offense looks a lot differently all of a sudden. A lot of weapons all of a sudden. Uh, I might, I might, I don't know if he's coming to Indy. I don't know if he would want to. Like I said, I think he loves LA. He's got a home out there. I think he always wanted to be with the Rams. I think they're slow playing it. I don't. I but I I I don't know. And the question is, would his personality fit? in the locker room. Man, at this point, like you need some weapons, you need some proven weapons and the wide receiver free agent class is dwindling. Do you take a flyer on OBJ? I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you guys think we should take a flyer on OBJ? Do you think that we should go a two year deal, see how he recovers. And then in that meantime, you can get a look at Michael Strong. You can get a look at Desmond Patman. You can get a look at maybe a Chris Watson or a George Pickens the young wideouts that they want to draft. You can get an idea what that looks like, but the dude is uber talented and he wouldn't do anything but help the offense. So I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to hear if you guys think the Colts should sign Odell Beckham Jr. Okay. As always, you guys, please like, share, subscribe, comment. We have felt the love this off season from you guys. I know it's been a weird off season. It's been a very quiet off season. There's not been a lot of signings. As of today, 4, 5, 22, we signed the Chiefs safety. Not the one all of us wanted, but we did sign somebody. But other than that, it's been really quiet. So we're kind of having to cope with these different topics. We love you guys for loving us for it. If you guys haven't subscribed, please make sure that you're subscribed. Ding the bell so you don't miss the videos. We're going to be going live a little bit more coming up too. Uh, me and Zach have talked about doing some Q&A stuff with you guys, having fun with it because uh, we're going into – draft time and then kind of getting a little bit quiet again so let us know i want to hear from you guys as always you guys i love you i know zach loves you i'm out